Hey, what's happening? It's Murphy here, and I wanted to make this video to let you know that this bass we're gonna give away for free. The GNL Kiloton. So check it out. Roll the B-roll. And so after playing it for about a month or so, I wanna let you know the seven things that I love about the GNL Kiloton bass. Number one, the look. The black frost color, the rosewood fretboard, it just looks killer. You know, they say that you eat with your eyes first, don't you, when a plate of food, you know, comes before you? But the look of this thing with that black frost, it just looks rad. It's a great color combination. The second reason I love this bass is the sound of it. It's got a classic kind of modern bass sound to it. It's got a lot of bottom end. It's got that top end, but it's not too clicky. It's got a good mid-range too that I like because a lot of times you can have it be too scooped um, or too boosted in the mid-range. I think it's a perfect combination. So the sound of it, I dig, and I don't want to stop playing when I play it. Third thing I love about this g and Kiloton is the price. I love the price. I love that it's not like a $2,000 instrument, you know? It's also not like $199. It's a perfect range of like somewhere in between like 600 bucks. It's enough money to be a really good instrument, but it's not so much that it's such this glass perfect instrument you don't want to ever take on the road or play, put some wear and tear on it. And that's one of the things I love about it. The fourth reason I love this GNL Kiloton is because it's, to me, it's the best of both worlds. It feels like a P and a J. Um, it doesn't feel like a true P bass and it doesn't feel like a true jazz bass, but it kind of has um, the feel of a P, but it, to me, it has the neck of a jazz anyway. It's a smaller neck, it's not the big precision neck, but I, that's what I like about it. Um, the fact that it feels like it's a hybrid in between a P and a J, to me. Fourth reason I love it. The fifth reason is the weight. Man, this thing has some heft. When I first held it, I'm like, whoa! It just feels like it's, there's substance to it, you know? When you put it around your neck, it makes you be aware of it and ready to play it. It doesn't feel like this super light instrument, which wouldn't feel very good to me, and it's not overly heavy. I've had basses on my neck that are heavier. So the weight of this thing to me is, is just an indication that it's a solid instrument and that's one of the reasons that I love it. The sixth reason I love this GNL Kiloton is because of where the uh, pickup is. I like that it's way back by the bridge. I've never played a bass like that. The fact that, you know, if you're slapping or you're really getting into it, you don't ever, you're not over in danger of like kind of having the strings slap the pickup. Um, I just think that's really, really cool. You can really get into this thing and play aggressively on it, but I love that. I think it's a simple and very, very cool design that makes a lot of sense. So that's the sixth reason that I dig it. The seventh reason I like this GNL Kiloton bass is because Leo Fender made it. You know, not him exactly. Leo Fender didn't put together this bass right here, but the fact that it's GNL, the L in GNL is for Leo Fender. It has that heritage, that kind of iconic name attached to it. Uh, and so to me, you know, th that, that kind of like um, gets into everything that GNL does. They try to, you know, keep the legacy of Leo Fender and how much he cared about instruments alive, the lineage and the heritage of Leo Fender behind it. That's the seventh reason I love this bass. All right, so thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like this video, give me a comment, whatever you want to do. But this bass is going to be free and we're going to be counting down the days we give it away. It's coming up real soon. So get over to my website at murphycargus.com. You'll find out the way to enter to win this bass. And I will see you in the comment section.